Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can compose or build two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional solids with multiple shapes, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So let's say we wanted to make something, for example, that uh, was a six-sided uh, shape, and what happens if we try to do that with two shapes? So a six-sided shape is a hexagon. How can we build that with two shapes? Well, one thing I'm thinking about is if you've ever played with pattern blocks, you know that you've got two, the red pattern blocks are the trapezoids. So if you put two trapezoids like this, you can actually build a hexagon. You see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got a six sided shape. This is a hexagon but I've built that with two separate trapezoids. So that's the fun thing about playing with geometry, especially if you get those pattern blocks, is you can make all kinds of combinations. And you can also build it uh, kind of upside down, make it kind of look like an hourglass. You can take the two trapezoids and you can just kind of stack them like this. You still have a six-sided shape, it just looks a little bit different, but it's still a trapezoid. So let's say we wanted to make a six-sided shape again, another trapezoid, I mean another hexagon. But what if we wanted six shapes? How can we use six shapes to make a six-sided shape or a hexagon? Once again, if you think about those pattern blocks, the little green triangles if you think about these triangles right here, you can kind of see how they're, they're built like this. So right now I've got three triangles. I'm gonna put, there's a fourth triangle, there's a fifth triangle, and if I put my sixth triangle right here, take a look what I've got. I've got six triangles, and once again, I am building a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you can um, make something really simple if you want to make a four-sided shape, which will be a quadrilateral. You can do that if you want with two shapes, with three shapes. Let's do three shapes. Those are pretty simple. You could just take uh, some squares, and you could just st stack them in a long line like this. And if you stack three squares in a long line like this, then these bottom sides become one big long side. So I've just got a really long rectangle. Now let's look at a three-dimensional example. Now we're looking to see if we can build uh, a shape that's got six faces, eight vertices, and three edges, and I need to use three solids, three three-dimensional solids to build this shape. So I know that six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. Well, that's just a simple cube. I can get all of that I need to in one cube. If you look at what I'm drawing here, I've got my, my cube here, and I've got six faces, you know, the six signs, eight vertices or eight corners, and then I've got 12 edges, four on the top. I'm gonna draw these little dotted lines to show what's in the back, four on the bottom, and then four connecting the top and bottom. So how do I keep all of those the same by adding two more solids. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two more cubes right next to this. And so you see I've got my second cube right here. And so now I've just kind of extended this top edge and extended the bottom edges. And you see I still just have the eight vertices. I've got four on the top and four on the bottom. So let's just go ahead and finish this out with this third square. Or this third cube here that's going to make our, our square face into a long rectangular face. And so now you see that I've got a big long edge on the top, two big long edges on the top, two big long edges on the bottom, this dotted one right back here. And then I've got uh, these short ones connecting each side. So there's my 12 edges, my vertices are one, two, three, four, five six, and then my faces are my four long rectangular faces and my two square faces on either side.